Hi, Assalamualaikum. In this video, we will understand about how to stop weight gain. So it is simple to understand basically how to gain weight. First of all, we will learn. Then we will understand about how it can be stopped. So first of all, the weight gain means the adipose tissue development. That is the weight gain, not muscle gaining. Basically, the muscle gaining is the healthy, but the fat gaining is the problem. So the how to fat increase number one thing is that when you will eat carbohydrate or protein and fat even so it will be absorbed into the blood circulatory system and stimulate the insulin when insulin stimulate which that will lead to target to the adipose site with the insulin receptor also to the tissue and liver so in this way basically the specially insulin more increase spike the insulin will bind with a, a muscle receptor with a muscle insulin receptor it will be move the glucose into the muscle and the uh, moderate level, uh, level of the glucose required for the muscle in the daily basis if you will not work hard so in this way the glucose will convert into the glycogen but minor uh, amount of glycogen not uh, more so in this way your insulin will target more into the adipose tissue because the adipose tissue is important for not function so it will lead to store that glucose into the fat even protein as well as the uh, fat is already stored into the uh, adipose tissue so in this way the adipose tissue will be grow it means the adipose site will be increased and increase the white adipose tissue rather than the brown adipose tissue so in this way the storage mechanism will increase will lead to weight gain so in this way how to decrease this it is easy we can reverse this mechanism by several method like the fasting intermittent fasting and or long duration of fasting for example the 16 hours and more so in this way when you will go into the fasting so the glucose will not enter protein not enter fat will not enter into your blood circulatory system so the glucose spike will be moderate no glucose spike so no protein spike hyperproteinemia and hyperglycemia and hypercholesteremia as well as hyperlipidemia will not occur so in this way your insulin level will be dropped because no requirement in this way your adipocyte whenever the glucose level will be dropped during the fasting the the basically is the adipocyte will be uh, degrade due to the growth hormone stimulation because the insulin will decrease so growth hormone will increase when growth hormone will increase will target to the adipose tissue to lipolysis will trigger through hormone sensitive lipase enzyme activation through gene in this way the lipids breakdown will occur and the triacylglycerol and free fatty acid go into the liver and produce cholesterol which that is beneficial for production of testosterone and the for cell maintenance and cholesterol is also important for the production of vitamin d so all these all these things will be possible will lead to weight loss and that is all thing is here but in this way the basically is the uh, 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 adipolysis will occur will lead to enhance the little amount of the glucose in uh, when triacylglycerol and lipids go into the liver it will convert into the uh, glucose through gluconeogenesis and in this way when drop the glucose level you should not intake glucose because your internal body internal body internal machinery will produce more glucose will lead to normal the blood glucose level in this way when you will fasting continue so the blood glucose level automatically maintain and where the need of glucose it can be used and the a little bit amount of insulin will produce continuously but not spike so in this way the adipose tissue will not grow but your muscle will grow and go into the gym so in this way the weight will be uh, decreased because the adipose tissue break down but the adipose tissue will not grow due to the growth hormone increase but the insulin will be dropped so what should you do you should fasting number one and whenever you will eat food so you should eat fat containing 
diet but less carbohydrate when carbohydrate will be decreased so in this way the insulin will not spike too much because protein whenever the complex protein will uh, intake which that will lead to a less spike of the insulin as compared to the glucose but minor amount of the protein even minor amount of the fat is important because too much fat when you will eat in the form of ketogenic diet basically ketogenic diet is uh, produce ketones but how ketones work in the longer duration of the uh, intermittent fasting and the ketogenic diet will stimulate the ketones through adaptation but this is not a easy way so in this way the gluconeogenesis first to trigger and after the adaptation glucose were not producing too much and that is problem which uh, uh, which body is facing throughout the time and in this way uh, this is a stress will lead to trigger the ketogenesis by the uh, production of glucose type molecules but three carbon containing light light molecules which that is the alternate form of the glucose used for the brain for energy and muscle for energy as well as other mechanisms so remember that thing but the ketogenesis will drop the weight but this ketogenesis through fasting again and again which that will lead to adopt for the initial stage of the uh, fasting will not trigger the ketones anyhow this is the reason why you should eat often but less amount of food but eat uh, one meal in a day which that will lead to trigger the fasting and fasting will decrease the fat in this way you can drop the weight in this way you will inhibit the weight gain this is the process and in this way you can uh, eat uh, basically you should eat salads and uh, or trace mineral containing uh, uh, products like vegetables and other things which that will lead to maintain the process of uh, physiology function better because the zinc is the coenzyme cofactor and magnesium is a cofactor and vitamin b6 1 2 3 all type of vitamin is the coenzyme which that work for the production of atp so in this way you should eat the meat which that contain vitamin b vitamin a etc as well as vitamin a because vitamin a vitamin e vitamin k is the fat soluble vitamin while the other uh, water soluble vitamin should be intake daily basis on the basis of uh, regular regular routine in this way you can consume the vegetable to uh, uh, complete the water soluble vitamin because for example vitamin c consumed from the lemon uh, lemon so in this way the citrus fruits you can add to enhance the uh, function the physiology to produce more atp in this way the calories will burn and that is why the uh, eat, drink less water this is also the part of weight gain inhibition because when you will not drink too much water so the loss of potassium the loss of sodium and uh, basically the loss of magnesium and loss of calcium will not occur in this way you will work normally so the normal physiology will work and in this way you will unable to gain weight but you will drop the weight healthy so that is why this is the reason why I hope you make sense make sense about how to maintain the weight and prevent the weight gain so this is the strategy basically which that will work so the mineral vitamin is too much important while the macronutrient is too much important with a range of the macronutrient for example less fat but very less protein but the carbohydrates you should not eat so that when decrease so the moderate amount of eating is also trigger the longevity gene and in this way the stress will occur so continually continuously stressing mechanism will lead to activate certain type of gene will protect you health uh, increase your health and increase your stamina i hope you make sense about that if you like my video please make sure to subscribe like and share see you in the next video for this time bye